Blue skies and sunshine have greeted players for the opening matches of the Hobart International Tennis Event today. Australia's Casey Delacqua hits centre court tomorrow as the tournament's top seed. Organisers are hoping for big crowds with more warm weather forecast. After years plagued by wind and rain, Hobart delivered glorious conditions for 2015's first day of play. Fifth seed American Sloane Stephens comfortably made her way to the second round, defeating Romanian Monica Nicolescu in two sets. About 200 spectators dotted the stands. Organisers would like to see more. Hopefully tomorrow with a packed schedule, um, Casey Delacker in action, uh, that all the fans will get down and watch the, watch the tennis. Fresh from three Hopman Cup singles losses in Perth, the top seeds daunted going into her first match against American Lauren Davis tomorrow. She's a really tough opponent um, and I'm going to be up for a real, you know, real challenge and I'm going to have to play good tennis throughout the whole match to, to win this one. With bigger sponsors now on board, organisers want to keep lifting the profile of the event. But they admit Hobart's weather is a barrier to attracting some players. It is certainly a factor um, and it's, it can get cold and we haven't had any luck over the last uh, probably 10 years. The tournament headliner isn't one who's phased. I feel like even since I arrived I've been able to take a breath and you just feel quite refreshed down here and um, you know a bit away from all the craziness sometimes. With players ranked between 30 and 60 in the world, picking a winner is a tough ask. It's very tough, so all players are good here, I just to, I have to just focus on every match. You're going to have a really competitive matches from the baseline um, which means high quality tennis. The tournament runs until Saturday. Lucy Shannon, ABC News.